My wife's obsession is driving me crazy. Oh God. My wife is obsessed with John F. Kennedy. I fucking knew it was the Kennedys. <laughs> I knew it. This is Alex. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Alex. <laughs> Alex B, this day in history. I've seen that shit like three, four times, Alex. Um, yes, John F. Kennedy, 35th president of the United States. He's her number one crush. She's in her 30s. She's obsessed with the entire Kennedy family, <laughs> and I probably know more information about the Kennedy family than I do about my own family, just from hearing her talk about <laughs> them all the time and overhearing her watch and rewatch every Kennedy related documentary and movie that's ever been produced. That was all one sentence, <laughs> guys. Oh my God. <laughs> Love that. Uh, seriously, she's seen every single one. And is always moping about how she's seen every Kennedy related thing ever, ever made, and she wishes there was something she hasn't seen yet. If I accidentally mentioned that I haven't seen a particular Kennedy film or documentary, she's like, Great, we're turning it on now. Then she gives her own commentary over top of the whole thing. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> the top man in her life is JFK. She has a framed picture of him on her vanity in our no bedroom. No fucking way. That's crazy. Absolutely not. That's wild. This is worse than Leslie Nope and Joe Biden. That's insane. <laughs> on the vanity? Question, Sean. Do you have pictures of like football players around your house? Yes no. or no? No. Okay. Hell no. no. Okay. But like in like college or university, did you have no. like like no. And nothing? Okay. I was going to say, like, there are a lot of people with, like... That's like a male... Like, like chuggy decorations for men is, like... Yeah. <laughs> chuggy. It's fucking... Damn, chuggy is so chuggy, bro. Chuggy is chuggy, but I don't know how else to explain it. That's live, fair. laugh, love decor for men. The men version of live, love, love is fucking... Uh, if it's posters of football players or something Import like that. Import models. Jerseys yeah. hanging up. Yeah. I mean, I get maybe, like... In like an office, if you want to do it, mm. I guess that would be the place. Okay, but I don't. I don't know. I guess. I guess that is a, a similar thing. People do uh, do that. So yeah, may, maybe it's not as crazy, but it seems like a framed photo <laughs> seems crazy. <laughs> it is wild. Uh, <laughs> but I, I get it. That shit like it's I, a I, Jesus I, pick. Yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> I mean, the sports ones are like. Uh, they're not just a random photo. Usually they're like from an important, like from a championship. I would say this yeah. is also not usually in your bedroom. So I will admit that. Yeah. That yeah, is yeah. The vanity the thing <laughs> is strange. Like in the office. Look, if you want to have John F. Kennedy hanging in your office as like inspo, I get that. You know what I mean? What's the inspiration? Yeah. <laughs> but to, to look, look at the way he assassinated led someday. the country. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I'll say it's not crazy if it's in the office. Yeah. Li like the office is for the weird decor that would be weird anywhere else in the house. I, I agree. Think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you want to hang photos of celebrities or athletes, <laughs> the office is the place. Uh, but yeah, vanity, strange. Uh, living room, I think would also be weird. Very. Yeah. Any shared space to me is weird if you're obsessed A bathroom, about possibly funny. Uh, could be. but <laughs> could, be. could be funny. Could be funny. Like just hidden behind the toilet paper rolls. So when someone yeah. pulls up, like, just see Jan JFK. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I'm taking a shot. Um, she has a framed picture of him on her vanity in our bedroom. So he watches us all the time. He's her phone background too. No pictures of me anywhere. Jeez. She even, she even talks to the picture sometimes. And we have a framed picture of the Kennedy family on our mantle. Crazy. Yes, the mantle in our. <laughs> Crazy. Like that. Keep like, this I, in the as office. Long as a shared space. <laughs> it's a no for me, dog. Um, yes, the mantle in our living room that everyone sees. But it was a gift from her sister, so it must be displayed. Last year for Christmas, she asked for these Kennedy-related Christmas ornaments. I did buy her the one she really wanted, and towards the end of Christmas, I could tell she was getting a bit sad that I apparently hadn't listened to her heavy hints and bought her this ornament. Her Christmas was thankfully saved when I produced the ornament at the end of the night. Over, a, over half of her presents from everyone were Kennedy related. She openly tells me in detail about her sexual fantasies involving JFK. Oh, that's definitely the, over the line for sure. <laughs> that is very yeah. weird. Uh, 
Ooh, back shots hit a little different for that. Um, he's. <laughs> I thought I was on a pocket. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> intrusive thoughts one over <laughs> sorry um he's the main person she fantasizes and about if she doesn't seem very into having sex with me her oh, actual no. husband all i have to do and this got cut off uh recite lines from the speech to, <laughs> yeah her actual husband all i have to do is put on my jfk voice on and they put i have perfected it I and bet you have. she'll usually <laughs> I don't even know what he sounds like. And she'll usually cave. I did have to put my foot down when she started talking about doing me with a back brace on. Wait, back brace? What? Maybe have a back he brace? broke his back at one point. I don't know. Oh. Well Alex, how can we okay. don't know about this? Oh yeah. It did. How dare you leave us? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah, he did have a uh, back too brace. Bizarre. Yeah, he suffered from chronic oh, he back. He did. Pain and wore a corset uh-huh. like bre- Wild to want that in bed, though, I guess. But I, again, that's weird. A lot of wildness. With this. Here's the thing. I <laughs> applaud the communication and honesty, but it's, it's wild. Uh, uh, too bizarre. I'm just not into role playing like that. And hey, that's a boundary. Yeah. So thank you for putting that. And, and Josh, this is where you kind of nailed it already. Why would I marry her when her heart clearly belongs to a man who has been dead for 60 years. <laughs> uh, this didn't all come out in full color right away. And when she did start mentioning her crush on him, it wasn't concerning. Whatever. He was a stylish guy. Had a great hair. It wasn't the craziest thing I'd ever heard. She told me tonight that her list of favorite men is JFK. JFK Jr. And they put a very close second to his father in her books. And she's taken up a bunch of hobbies inspired by him. Thankfully not flying planes. Yet. Um, and Bobby Kennedy, then me. So I'm fourth behind three dead men. Oh, jeez, Fucking sad. <laughs> Her vibrators are all named after those guys. Her dog is named Jackie O. Now she's planning out a Kennedy tribute baby name. Her engagement ring just had to be from the same jeweler as Jackie Kennedy's ring. Done. I did that for her and still can't rise above Bobby Kennedy to be number three at the very least. If she buys me one more thing that is something that is, oh, if she buys me one more thing that is something that JFK wore, I don't know what I'll do. Well, I'll probably wear it or use it because it makes her happy. My wife is relatively normal in most other ways. She's attractive, has a good career. um, And they put, although I know she's slipped about her Kennedy obsession at work in a few moments of weakness, and I'm scared to know just uh, how detailed she got. She's told me she's masturbated secretly at work a few times Bad. and will just sit and stares at pictures of these men. Okay, this is a wild obsession. It started with a, a picture on a mantle. Normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is healthy. No. I'm going to finish this. Yeah, yeah, almost done. Uh, sure, she loves every salacious sexual detail that comes, out, uh, that comes out about JFK. Uh, and the more dirty detail she finds out, the more affair she finds out about the more she wants to do him. But if I just look in the direction of another woman, all hail rains down. It's fine. I'm fine. Doesn't sound like it. Um, I don't know why I'm sharing this with the internet right now. It's so ridiculous. She's in the shower fantasizing about him right now. She told me that's what she was going to do. She says I should just be glad all my competition is dead. Uh, Yeah, I was like, this is uh, like, this is an obsession and she should definitely like get help to curb it because it seems to be consuming her life which is not healthy but then you can't even compliment on like other celebrities uh being you're attracted to like that's where it's like okay well you can't be like i can do it but you can't because that seems that's fucked Mm -hmm. up uh that's not a line you can just draw randomly for your spouse to have to just listen to you talk about this other dude for yeah, I ever and you he can't even like mention someone else not that you should want to uh because you should want, want your partner more than a dead guy <laughs> wild this is crazy uh she definitely needs help because <laughs> this is an unhealthy uh obsession but uh, correct me if I would I'm not wrong, be surprised John. oh go ahead correct me if I'm wrong John she should be fired right yeah that's for masturbating at work that's bad I feel that's, 
Not even just fireball offense. I feel like that's criminal, also like right. Yeah, criminal because oh, that's indecent yeah. exposure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What the absolute fuck? Um, that was uh, definitely the turning point of this story for me. I mean, I guess the whole thing is pretty unhinged, but that one is like, <laughs> okay, you, this is no longer just like a cute little f- ha ha. It's like, not a jokey joke anymore. Help. Right. Yeah. yeah, she needs she fucking does. help, and. I don't know. You might need to leave. I don't know. We it started is, we started thinking it was bad when she was like framing a mantle on your your shared bedroom. <laughs> you know right. I mean? and then, on the vanity. On I the thought vanity. that was bad, but then that, that was the least offensive thing in right. this whole But that's where we started the list. debate where we're like, this is weird. Yeah. And then it just got co- progressively worse and we're like criminal. Well, yeah, it went from weird to criminal. It, well, yeah. I feel like you know, you doing the things to make her happy and things right now is is no longer you are uh, encouraging the obsession. It feels like at a this little, point. At yeah. this point, it sounds like it, does, it doesn't even sound like an obsession anymore. It sounds like an addiction yeah. at this point. Like in inter- well, and to be fair, yeah. it's, it's I don't know like, how those things work. It, it seems like he was like a frog, you know, boiled in water. Where it's like it started off as nothing, and then it she slowly pigeonholed into like you have to do like what shit I like yeah well and and got him like slowly used to the idea of her being obsessed with it or she just slowly got more and more obsessed with it um there's that as well so yeah she definitely needs to like get therapy there we go there it is (laughs) imagine it imagine if you press the wrong button you might need to take a hard look in the mirror I mean honestly that too that could be paired with the get therapy they're both saying similar things one right after the other (laughs) (laughs) Um, yeah, uh, it is wild. Um, I do have a funny story recently about JFK (laughs) and uh, my comments about JFK. I have nothing against the guy. I have no, I have no idea about him, but, uh, we're, we're looking at getting photographers right now. And recently Sienna was like, Oh, should we get a second shooter? And I was like, well, there was one on the, (laughs) I was like, well, there was one on the grassy knoll. So yeah, obviously we need one. And she didn't God understand. <laughs> she was like, uh, every time she said second shooter, I would always say something like that. And she's like, why do you keep saying that? And I was like, the assassination of JFK. And she's just like, you're fucking, you're an idiot. I feel Dude, like I would not uh, be as surprised. Canadians. That is just not common. Not, or like it wouldn't need to <laughs> be not, important. No. I don't know if any Canadian people have been assassinated ever in the history. I have of no idea. Canada. If it'd be worth it. <laughs> they probably got stuck on maple syrup. <laughs> Drowning. That's not true. We had one famous assassination recently of, uh, I forget his name, but the Indian. And how famous was it? Government assassinated him and we almost went to war over it. <laughs> Like last Holy week. Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, what? Damn. Yeah, yeah. We were not at good terms with uh, the Indian government. It was around the same time that we let our uh, Nazi into parliament. Uh, so, yeah, we've had a bad month, I will admit, uh, as Canadians. Oh, my God. So we've been fucking up left and right. <laughs> Dude, I honestly would not be surprised if this couple lives near me because mm. the JFK Museum's here in Dallas. So... And I actually went there recently. You can you see like the X on the floor, which is pretty bizarre if you think about it. So uh, is the road uh, still yeah, there? Would not be surprised. Oh, the road's perfectly there. Yeah, like people get hit <laughs> sometimes <laughs> because they want to take a picture where it's at, but because it's on a busy street. It's wild that they haven't like rerouted that so that it can just be like <laughs> yeah, like a historical site, right? But it's 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 a it's an access to a freeway. That's why it's. Uh, they probably I want to rework my entire city just because. <laughs> no, I agree. Gotcha. I agree. <laughs> I'm just saying is the obsession. Uh, it seems like people have with it is uh, is that degree that I'm surprised it hasn't gone that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so interesting. If you get hit by a <sighs> car by trying to be in that situation, then it's just natural selection of that. Then uh, you need to take a long look <laughs> in the mirror, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Fifth time, it's your boy Sean. <laughs> <laughs>